Hi, um, welcome to down well. What do you Team think, Lewis? Definitely down well. How are you doing, Sips? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? So, it's another Monday, another Team Double Dragon. And <laughs> it's another Monday. You're playing another indie game. You decided that Jamestown was, was too much. Um, yeah, I just got kind of tired of playing it. It's just the way it goes, you know, some games. I think I, like, almost... Well, I think I, there's a couple of levels I was missing, actually. There's a few levels I was missing. But it doesn't matter. I'm playing down well now. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a new man. I'm a new man playing a new game. I think we should maybe rename this whole thing to one and a half guys because I'm kind of I'm kind of here talking to you yeah. and you're always only paying half attention. It's yeah. like when your mum tells you something and you're playing on a video game. You're like, yeah, mum, okay, or whatever. I'll do it in a minute. Meatloaf for dinner again? Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, sure, thanks. Whatever. And just don't. Listen, you know, I, yeah. I, I had that a lot. I had that an awful lot. I had that for like 15 years, probably, with my parents. Where, um, where you didn't listen to your mom? Yeah. Like, well, I only half listened, right? <clears throat> what if she had like really important things to say to you? Like, no. Lewis, you're inheriting the family fortune. Again, there wasn't anything Don't piss important it away. like that in my family. And I guess it'll be the same for you. As soon as your kid starts, you know getting a couple of years older and they don't start listening actually no no because your dad I, I always listen to my dad because he he kind of was quite selective about when he talked to me mum talked to me all the time okay right and so i just got this sort of ign layer of ign ignore all over it because it was all kind of pointless stuff whereas when my dad let me know something it was like lewis the house is on fire quick let's leave <laughs> and i'd be like okay <laughs> do you know what i mean he didn't know, bother but... me with trivial crap right no, not, but the thing with dads is that, I don't know about your dad, but like, my dad never said anything. So, when he did say something, you knew you had to listen, because mm. it was like going to be profound or right. important or whatever. That's right. But like, with your mom, moms just talk all the time, don't they? They just like tell you about all this crap that you don't want to know and stuff. So, when something serious happens, you're still not listening to them? That's right. It's is like that the, the boy, boy who, who cried wolf. That's right. Like, it is. That's exactly what it's like. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly like that. The boy who cried wolf. Oh he my cried God. wolf so many times. Nobody. Shit. Nobody listened. That's, we know the parable of the boy who cried wolf. Okay. Yeah. That is a it's a classic tale of. Uh, anyway, uh, it's Monday morning, <laughs> and oh shit, yeah. <laughs> the main news from the weekend. What did you What did you think the main news was that came out over the weekend? Terry Wogan died. That's right. Um, Man, poor guy. And you know, oh, Wogan. Honestly, it made me realize Wogan? how much of an asshole I've been lately to people who are upset that someone else has died. Like, for, for example, Lemmy from Motorhead died. And then. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah, God. And then Alan Rickman died. and also David Bowie died, right? Oh, and yeah, I forgot I, about Alan Rickman. I wasn't really bothered about any of those okay and i was quite cynical about it okay i was quite yeah. i was quite well you know uh poor old david bowie yeah yeah did, and you did, were doing the singing thing with bowie as well which yeah i was a little ultra bit. offensive and actually. um obviously terry wogan dying is actually actually pretty pretty sad for me because I think, and it, I don't realize that these other people so, probably have the same effect on other people, but I'm, I was a big Wogan fan, okay? I used to listen yeah. to Wogan, like, every morning for about 20 years, it felt like. Uh, you know, every I mean, morning, a, I would... It says a lot. I would have a radio you... alarm clock. It would wake me up. You know, I'd go to school, and I'd listen to Wogan. And then when I went to work in university, I would listen to Wogan and again. And, I, you know, was, he, he was kind of this... Just let me get through this, Sips, because it's emotional. Okay, it's hard. It's hard right. for me. Well, this, the thing is, I just wanted to sort of say, like, you know, you you clearly like Woken, and I feel like maybe now people who really liked Bowie and were really upset with the fact that you were almost making fun of the fact that he died by doing the singing voice thing mm. to offend them, now they can get a little bit of sort of vengeance back on I you. I wasn't because trying to offend them. I was you can do like a... I was obviously Terry Wogan impersonation. upset by Bowie to some extent. Oh, lads. Terry Hello. Wogan here. Oh, Ooh. no. Honestly, I used to love, I used to oh, love a bit of uh, Wogan. Freck father. He was just it's such me, a... Terry Wogan. He was just I'm such dead. a nice 
gentle kind of good good guy you know he did all sorts of good he stuff was. as well you know he did children in need he did eurovision classically you know there were a lot of things which um i i guess i guess you don't realize how certain people have an impact on your life um sometimes did, yeah is it just me or did they do you yeah. know when terry wogan left bbc2 radio 2 yeah um they found a guy who sounded exactly like him to replace him. Did you notice that? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I mean, that's Ken Bruce, okay? He's been doing radio for fucking probably just as long as Wogan has. Right. Uh, except that he used to run... I think he's like 65 as well, but he, he used to run after Wogan um, on, on Radio 2. I think he probably still does. Um, right. He, he used to... Yeah, so he's he's Scottish, though. Not. He Irish. sounds just like him, I find. Well, he's like, got that same kind of like radio s- voice, slow radio, classic radio voice. Yeah, he does yeah. sound. A, he no thing is, I can see why you get confused. Okay, if you don't, if you're not a big Bogan listener, but he is very different. It's a little bit like Duncan and Simon. Okay, the first time we start getting Duncan on the channel, well, I don't know. Thought, I find oh, they sound sounds, similar he as well. Like Simon, um, but no, if if you know, if, if you, as soon as you know them, they sound very different. Um, but I think sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get used to that, their eccentricities, and tell, be able to tell them apart. Um, I, think I still can't really tell them apart. I think when you get a, like, exactly when you when you get a bunch of people together, like uh, Rooster Teeth, you know, I can't tell those guys apart because I don't watch enough of their stuff. But as soon as I start watching it, I'd very quickly know who's who. You know, it's yeah. easy. I recognize the guy, the, is it Michael, who does Rage Quit or whatever? Sure. Yeah. He's he's more distinctive than the others, I find, but <laughs> I don't know. So, Again, yeah. I mean, I don't watch that much of their stuff, so. I mean, I remember watching Wogan, you know, just savagely take the piss out of uh, Eurovision Song Contest, you know. Uh, yeah. And... You, you seem, like, really sort of beat up about this. I'm surprised, actually. I d- figured that you were just, like, really angry cynical and you didn't really care about anything but now sort of turns out that you sort of had like some secret obsession with Wogan or maybe you're just feeling a bit down and like the whole sort of Wogan thing has you know revived some old feelings in you or something Um, I'm surprised man I I didn't think I I didn't expect this from you at all I'm a bit emotional about it yeah actually it's it's pretty pretty bad so no, it's it's sad because I don't know. I, ju- I just I have a long history, I guess. Um, Want to talk about poop for a bit or something? Cheer you up. Sure, let's talk about what, what have you been dealing with a lot of that? Is that a normal thing in your no, everyday life? I just like life? talking about it. Just like talking. You about are poop doing a lot. the diapers and stuff, so that, that I can understand why you'd bring that up. If you if you dealt with some poop already this morning, I assume. No, you, no, no. Actually, today so far has been a poop-free day. It's been nice. I haven't done a poop Celebrate. myself because I don't poop in the morning, and I haven't had to deal with a baby's poop either. It's been pretty good. Well, today, by the way, is apparently the most... <laughs> National Poop Day. No, it's National Sicky Day. It's oh, appara- is it? It's apparently the worst day of the year for worker uh, absenteeism, i.e. ringing up and saying, oh, I'm not feeling very well today. Um, nice. Yeah, and so it's it's... It's, I don't, like, this is something in which I guess You're going to you turn up do. to the office and nobody going to be there now. <laughs> wait but for it. I guess you're going to, I guess it just happens to be one of these times, okay? It's the 1st of February. It's, um, it's just, it's a, it's a long way from Christmas, but it's very cold. Christmas is one of these, uh, celebrations that kind of keeps you going, right? Yeah. To the kind of cold misery. Because the su- com- yeah. summer is okay, okay? Summer is fine. It's warm weather. You wake up, you're, especially a UK summer, right? It's it's never really hot enough to, you know, be be horrible. It's always, even the hottest, nicest day, you wake up, you think, oh, it's nice and warm, better get up, uh, have a shower, get get into, get into it, you know, you enjoy it. It's really good. There's lots of light, you're full of energy. Okay, and as soon as the... Wait, we're talking about the UK here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's never like horrible. It's never like overwhelming. It's never. It's never like so humid that you don't want to leave because you know you're in your nice air. We don't. We don't have air conditioning really here. This isn't a, yeah. a, a British thing. You know, we don't have it. Maybe we have it in our cars, but then it's used to heat them up in the winter. You know, if anything. Oh um, uh, yeah. 
And I think before we carry on, we need to say a quick thank you to our sponsor, which is uh, Visit the UK 2016, the, uh, the travel board. Uh, kindly sponsored us our, our little chat this morning, which almost deviated to poop, but now has um, turned into a sort of weird come visit Britain. <laughs> Weather is really nice here. It's it's well, in summer, obviously a lie. Hold on, I was, it, for the summer months, okay, from June through to late August, are, are yeah. pleasant, okay, and it's then true, they it are. starts to get dreary and miserable. And by no December, really, it's pretty shit here. It really sucks, and it's really depressing. Whoa. Remember and how nice the weather was when you came to visit in the summer? Holy shit! Oh, it was so nice. Oh the god, the weather is crazy. But, but we were outside like Jersey every day. Jersey is basically France, okay? And what are France yeah. famous for? Wine. And so sun. therefore, <laughs> the <laughs> sun. Wine, but wine and grapes need a lot of sun. You know, they grow them in California. Yeah. France does get a lot of sun. Anyway, I'm just saying that you're basically living yeah. in France, so that's a little bit different. Um, up here in the UK, it's it, we get we get a good chunk more shitty weather, and uh, and I think that. Like the, the the December and January, uh, December and Christmas are a good excuse to kind of get out of that that kind of down in the dumps and really just have a fun time and accept that the weather might be shitty and you know be okay. But February now is just about the peak of the worst weather that we're gonna get. It's been a really long time since Christmas, so everyone's forgotten about it. There's nothing good coming, right? Because it's just like February's pretty shitty, March yeah. is pretty shitty. Um, and it's you know it's a good old fucking couple of months to go, and so I, I think it's the, I think we're just about at the trough right of the worst day of the year. And so obviously this is the day when people just think I want to stay in bed. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I've kind yeah. of felt like that this morning when I woke up. So first like, of all, well you were half, half an hour late to our recording. So what? what sorry. Were you, what were you doing with that? Was, was <laughs> well, it just you having know. a lie in? No, I was playing. Um, fuck. I don't know if you do this, Kate. Read. Uh, Reason with me a minute, or or listen to me, or, or something, because I'm half paying attention. Sure. Of course. But um, do you do this thing where you're like, I feel like I need to just get stuck into something, and like sometimes that thing is just a really crappy iOS game that you randomly find on the App Store. Do you ever do that? Um, I do. I have I've had a few stupid iOS games that I've played to death. Yeah. Yeah, like what? Um. One of them, I can't remember. I can't. Sometimes I can't even remember the fucking names. <laughs> well, you, that's not helpful. But I, I, um, or I don't want to tell you what they are in case you get hooked on them like 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 a digital crack. I don't think it's, it's good probably for me to too tell late you actually. Yeah. Well, no, go on because I'm already addicted to a couple actually. Are you? Well, no, I'm not going to. Well, tell you. only since yesterday, but that's enough for me anyway. Well, I, 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 well, obviously one of the ones I talked about over Christmas was uh, Dream Quest, and I played another game similar to that a lot. I think that that Duncan, Duncan did a, an iOS free freemium iOS game for a brand deal, and um, he said he, we were we were chatting the other day, and he 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 looked me straight in the eyes and he was like, "Oh my God, that game! I can't believe it." I spend like 25 minutes every morning. I wake up and I play it for like 25 minutes every every morning. I can't stop. It's just, what is it? I don't want to tell you what these games are, Sip. I might be playing it though. This is the thing. I don't think so. I don't want to tell okay. you. Look, it's not good. It's not good to. It's like a crack dealer. It's like, I know oh, it just, is. just give me a little snifter of the crack. No, I'm not giving you any snifters of crack because then you will like crack and then you will have crack every morning with your with your crack cereal. For breakfast. For crack fuck's sake. Dinner. Crack for your lunch. No, anyway. So I went onto the. Um, onto the Apple Store thing, and I was like, fuck. Just want, like, a game, because I was playing you this game called fuck. Tap Tycoon. Oh, God. Tap Tycoon, okay, which is terrible. Is it okay, like Adventure one of those... Capitalist? Yeah, I I really like that as well. Yeah. So Tap Tycoon is one of these games where you have to, like, furiously tap your screen like an asshole for the rest of your life, and your hands get sore doing it wow. to make money. Yeah, so, I, so in the end, I thought, fuck this, I'm not playing this one anymore. I'm gonna move on to like something a bit better. But I like games where you build stuff and there's like some progress and whatever, you know, like kind of like city builders, but like on iOS, you don't get like good city builders. You just get these shitty things where it's like, hey, buy a key for 500 bucks and then, um, you know, you can speed up building a school or whatever. I didn't want to do any of that either. But then I did opt for 
Farmville 2 Escape for the Country. Oh, for Christ's sake. I well, can't stop playing it. I can understand. I can't. Right, here's the thing, okay, about this. There's it, something about agriculture that really wets my whistle. I don't know what it is. Yeah, in the depths of winter, okay, in this miserable weather where it's pouring with rain outside or, or snowy or shitty or just, just cold and wet, it's sometimes nice to play a game where you're farming watermelons on a tropical In the island. summer, okay. yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's the key. I think that when it comes to summer, you're not going to be doing that stuff, right, anyway. But, probably. you know, maybe then you can play like a game which is like winter. I guess this is why I don't like the whole Dota 2 uh, winter map thing that they've given me. Because it just makes me even more depressed, you know. I quite oh. like the green sunny map you know at least it makes me feel like it's not quite as horrible uh, oh yeah do they that's i haven't played like in a while they give you a winter map i forgot yeah, about that yeah. some people do do absolutely love winter though so to you people i say good for you <laughs> good for you some people that's love true that. actually to those, yeah so good for you well um, good for you well, anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk to you next time more about my obsessions with iOS games, crappy iOS, because there's another one as well that I play like in between. Because one is never enough, right? Because you always run out of things to do in one, so you need like a backup, right? So you switch you between them. them. Yeah. Yeah, you rotate around like during the day. So I'll tell you what my other one is next time. I'm on, excited. Um, team dribbling doggy. Bye. Bye.